Hi guys, today is June 16, 2021. In the next four minutes, you're gonna see everything I did for this workout in the order that it occurred. Okay, so I got biceps curls uh, going on, obviously. My warm-ups are always a lighter version of whatever it is I intend on doing. So I'm starting with a 50-pound bar and just doing an easy set and creeping the weight up to 60 pounds, doing another easy set. Um, yeah, so that's going to go on for a little bit here. But I want to talk to you guys about uh, there were a few comments regarding uh, the short video where I was curling doing this uh, with 110 pounds. And there were understandably some uh, comments regarding the safety of what I was doing, uh, the risk, and, and that's very reasonable. Um, so that's why I like to follow with these um, videos that show more what happens behind the scenes leading up to those glorious attempts that I try to publish on TikTok. So let's see, we are at, uh, that's about 110 pounds. Once I'm over 80 pounds, I'm not real strong on the curl. So I go to singles and I treat every rep like I'm arm wrestling. Um, I try to make this curl, I'm not really, at my age and place in life, I'm not really still trying to get big biceps for the beach or whatever. So the curl for me is a full body expression. It's unique in that that bar, how it arcs out in front of you, even though the weight used in the curl might not be the heaviest you could subject your body to, the leverage uh, is rather challenging as that bar arcs out in front of you. Like, as you can see right there, I choked. So I'm trying to actually make this a full body expression. I do that first by softening or putting a slight bend in both knees that activates the leg and hip musculature. And in, when that occurs, the core and abdominal and back musculature can help the spine and rib cage stay rigid. If the spine and the rib cage are held rigid and very strongly in place, your curl strength goes up because the platform that is anchoring the upper arm is not shifting and bleeding energy as you're initiating the curl. A couple other things you can do, like right there on that curl, let's see, am I gonna do one more? Yes, I'm pushing the insides of my elbows forward as I initiate the curl. Sometimes we're not aware that as we curl, especially heavier items, they will push our elbows behind, <clears throat> excuse me, behind the plane of our back. And that shortens the lever arm going out in front of you, which just kind of rips off your biceps. If you're trying to display a heavy curl, then that certainly is the way to curl. But the reason why they uh, make you stand against the wall in curling contests is so that we get that nice, long, strict lever. Okay, we're coming towards the end here. So the last thing I'm trying to do is keep my spinal posture very tall. I'm also curling from the upper chest. This is a little trick. If you start getting tired in the biceps, stop thinking about your arms. Put your mind into your upper chest and pull from there. Thank you guys for watching and much aloha.